Hey everybody, how you doing? Buddy Blackford here with another After Effects CS6 tutorial. And in this tutorial, I want to teach you about using the Luma key this time. And Luma key is good for um, when you're trying to key out lum luminance. And it's pretty good and it's pretty much the best for when you're trying to key out black on white or white on black. And um, if you're trying to use any other colors, it doesn't really work out that great. And I'll show you some examples real quick. So we've got <clears throat> this uh, fractal noise that I made, and it's just a bunch of uh, white lines. And if you want to check out the settings, I'll pull them down here for you. Um, so there's the settings, and you can pause it on this um, on this point in time, and then look at my settings and change them if you uh, if you would like, and to get like about the same thing. I'm going to turn this all the way down actually to subscaling. There we go. So that's what I've got there. And I just pretty much made a bunch of white lines so I could uh, illustrate what's going on. Now, when you use something like fractal noise, that effect on a solid, you do not get an alpha. So if I come down here to alpha, it's just all white. And when you have all white, that's not an alpha. It's, uh, well, that's not what I want. I want these uh, <clears throat> white parts to not be in there. So I'll show you what I mean. Or I want the white parts to stay or the black parts to move out or whatever you want to do So to create an alpha. So what we're going to do is add the uh, Luma key on here. And we'll go to keying and then Luma key. And we've got it uh, here. And now we just have to mess with the threshold and the tolerance. Now, as soon as I turn it up, um, the threshold, it's going to like start taking it out. And now it's trying to leave the all of the white and take out the black. Because I have it set to key out darker up here. Now, if I want to do the opposite, I can go on to key out brighter and just key out the uh, white. So I'm going to key out the white because it's easier to see for us. So if we mess with the threshold here and uh, decrease it or increase it um, to what we want. So something like about there it looks like. And then we've got um, our tolerance that we can mess with to actually like. Sometimes the tolerance works better when you're using key out similar and key out dissimilar and it only has minimal effect when um, you're just keying out the uh, brighter or darker. We've got our edge thin which will uh, work on the edges for us here. And um, it goes into the negatives as you can see. So I'm going to keep mine at zero because I feel like we've got a decent key. And then if you have like if your whole entire uh, thing had a bunch of this like feathered off kind of stuff you could mess with the uh, edge feather if you wanted to and make it look a little more feathery. It depends on what you're doing in, in your uh, scene. But I don't need that. So if we go ahead and check out the alpha now, we can see that there is one now. And now we have created an alpha and we have achieved what we wanted to achieve with our Luma key. So that's how you use the Luma key. And remember, it's good for black on white or white on black. I'm going to show you um, how the Luma key doesn't work as well with just like white with different color. So I'm going to bring in this uh, McChicken picture. And I'm just going to hide all the rest of this stuff. And we're turning it back to RGB. And we've got a picture of our McChicken here. Now this is on a white background so you might think that the Luma key will be able to take it out pretty nicely. Well there's a couple of things that will probably mess up. Um, we've got white mayonnaise in here that might uh, be affected, some white spots on the lettuce, but we'll check out and see what's going on and uh, see how the Luma key can affect this. So effect, keying, Luma key. Now we've got key out darker, which will take out the dark stuff. We want to key out brighter, and then we want to increase our threshold here to bring back our chicken here. So 255 is the greatest that we can go on this uh, Luma key. Now let me turn back on the transparency here. You can see that this is what we got going on here. So I'll go up 
to 255 real quick, it's going to bring in the white. If I go to 254, that's the next level. It just like snaps right to it, which is not good. We got some stuff being taken out here. We got a pixel, a couple pixels there, some pixels in, in, in there, and then uh, of course all around the outside, and it sucks. Um, you can try to increase your tolerance and all that stuff. It doesn't work as well. Um, you can try edge thin, but you still have these pixels that are in the middle that are all effed up. And plus around the outside, it does not look nice at all. Edge feather won't fix it, so we need to find, we need to use like a different kind of method. I'll come out down to like key out similar. It's kind of like the same, same thing. Um, you can use your tolerance. Let me bring the threshold down. I'm going to take the edge thin off because that's what those gray things are. So we're trying to key out. Let's key out dissimilar. And you try to do pretty much the same thing, and the same, pretty much the same thing, exact same thing happens. Doesn't work out too well. So um, you can see now that the Luma key is just good pretty much for black on white. And uh, like the luminous kind of value kind of stuff. So. Um, if you really needed to like get that McChicken um, pretty much keyed out or whatever, um, try using Auto Trace. And I made a tutorial about Auto Trace uh, a long time ago. Um, probably I don't know, check around in the 30s or something like that for my uh, tutorial numbers in After Effects CS6. And uh, learn how to use the Auto Trace to trace out something like this. It works pretty well actually. So um, that's a, all I got for you for Luma Keys, and they help create alphas within uh, black and white uh, images that don't actually contain alphas. So there you go. Um, hopefully you guys learned something in this tutorial, and um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good day, everybody.